Salvador Dali, The Master of Surrealism, Jennifer Lawson, Art Appreciation, Section 1, Spring 2019. What is Surrealism? Surrealism was born in Paris in 1924 and took its name from a word coined by French poet Guillaume Apollinaire in 1917. According to André Breton, co-founder of the Surrealist movement, Surrealism can be defined as a psychic automatism in its pure state by which it is intended to express, either verbally or in writing, or in any other way, the true functioning of thought. Thought expressed in the absence of any control exerted by reason and outside all moral and aesthetic considerations. The word surrealism became very popular among young writers and artists who were very disillusioned in the aftermath of World War I. Who is Salvador Dali? Born May 11, 1904, in Spain, Dali grew up in a perplexing family. His father was an atheist and a Republican, while his mother was a Roman Catholic. Dali had an older brother who had recently died before his birth, and he was given his name. This affected his life greatly, feeling, quote, reply, a double, an absence. He experimented with his self-identity for years to come. How did Dali begin painting? Dali's first instance painting was brought about by his father's friend, Ramon Picot, who himself was an Impressionist painter and associated with Picasso. In 1921, Dali enrolled in the Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Madrid. His works were often found paradoxical as they showed formal innovation with hints of traditional academia. Dali was experimenting with different styles such as divisionism and futurism, but stated his passion was for Velazquez, Goya, El Greco, Duir, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. Three of Dali's most famous paintings, which I will be discussing individually shortly, are The Persistence of Memory, done in oil on canvas in 1939, which currently resides at the MoMA in New York City, New York. The Great Masturbator, which is also oil on canvas, done in 1929 and currently resides in the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia. And the Enigma of Desire, again done in oil on canvas in 1929. Many surrealist paintings were seen as chaotic and confusing. Dali's were no different. In the persistence of memory, the melting clocks and desert-like terrain are Dali's way of tapping into his unconscious and showing the viewer that time is but an illusion. Dali's next painting is The Great Masturbator. As any viewer can see, there are several parts that make up this entire painting. Some of the parts of this painting include the woman's head and hair flowing onto the main piece of the painting, which can also be seen in the persistence of memory with the clock folded on top of it, and also in the next piece to come. There are also other elements of this painting, including the people viewing it from the bottom and the grasshopper holding onto the main body piece, among other parts. Again, this piece, The Great Masturbator, comes from deep within Dali's unconscious, and he has portrayed it here in this painting. The last of Dali's paintings I will be discussing today is The Enigma of Desire. This painting, similar to the first two, uses the bright color yellow and the fading blue sky. This piece, however, is a little bit more difficult to decipher, Although in the bottom left-hand corner, we again see this shape that appears to be possibly a man's nose, eye, eyelashes, and eyebrow, attached to what looks like almost a beehive. Aside from this, many of the other pieces are unknown. Continuing, this is also another portrayal of Dali's unconsciousness put into his paintings. Dali's surrealist artwork has had great effects on modern-day artists, such as Lady Gaga. Many of her music videos have had surrealist similarities, 
And a lot of her outfits, including the meat dress of the 2010 MTV Music Video Awards, shows great comparison to Dali's painting, Gala with Two Lamb Chops in Equilibrium Upon Her Shoulder from 1934. As you can see in the following two images, the first being Portrait of Gala with Two Lamb Chops in Equilibrium Upon Her Shoulder, and then Lady Gaga in her infamous meat dress, and the similarities between the two. Next are two images of Lady Gaga in two of her music videos, Bad Romance and Paparazzi. The first image is in the music video Bad Romance, where Lady Gaga is seen standing in the middle of a bunch of crystals in midair. The second is Lady Gaga in Paparazzi, in which she is in the middle of a number that has a black and white swirl continuously swirling behind her. Both are creative representations of the artist's unconsciousness. Salvador Dali was an inspirational surrealist artist. I hope today, through my presentation, I have shown you all just how masterful he truly is.